Israeli suffering is not comparable to Palestinian suffering. Notes from the Edge of the Narrative Matrix. The mass media are once again pushing the narrative that Israel is scaling back its operations in Gaza, which, as journalist Sana Saeed noted on Twitter, is a claim they've been falsely making for months. To promote such stories, even as Israel publicly declares that it's preparing for an invasion of Rafa, is absurd and irresponsible. A member of the Israeli Knesset named Limor son Har Melech says there are secret Israeli plans to establish settlements in the Gaza Strip. It sure is a crazy coincidence how every single part of Israel's response to October 7th has looked exactly the same as what it would look like if Israel just started doing all the things it has wanted to do to the Palestinians for generations. Biden has declared ironclad support for Israel as fears mount that Iran will soon retaliate for the Israeli strike on its consulate building in Syria, which killed multiple Iranian military officials, despite the fact that Iran has made it clear to the White House that if the U.S. comes to Israel's defense, it will make the U.S. a target as well. We could be near the precipice of the worst-case nightmare scenario of all possible Middle Eastern conflicts, because of this president's unwavering support for the genocidal Zionist state. In the early weeks of Israel's assault, Palestinian journalists were filling social media with footage of Israeli atrocities in Gaza. We're seeing far less footage now because the journalists have been killed and access to the internet made far more difficult, and Palestinian access to much of Gaza has been restricted. But it's important to remember that those atrocities have continued to happen this entire time. I am sick of hearing October 7th mentioned in the same breath as Israel's incineration of Gaza, as though they're equal or even comparable. A thousand Israelis dying, probably hundreds by indiscriminate IDF fire, is not comparable to tens of thousands of Palestinians, probably more, being exterminated by high-tech war machinery, even before you account for the fact that Israel was the aggressor and that the violence of the oppressed is not comparable to the violence of the oppressor in the first place. But that's what you'll hear all the time from the polite Western liberals trying to walk a center line on the Israel-Palestine issue. They'll talk about how sad and tragic and heartbreaking both the butchery in Gaza and October 7th are, giving equal weight to two exponentially unequal acts of violence. This is the same as lying. It actively misrepresents what's actually going on, leading to widespread misunderstanding, like the fact that half of Americans have no idea whether more Palestinians or Israelis are being killed in the current quote-unquote war. Trying to balance out two wildly unbalanced events gives people a wildly unbalanced understanding of what's really happening, leading to a wildly unbalanced worldview. But you see this constantly, and the Western political media class do everything they can to feed into it. Israeli suffering is not equal to Palestinian suffering. It's not even in the same ballpark. Pretending otherwise is deceitful and manipulative. Normal person. It's bad to murder children. Crazy person. Aha, I see you hate the Jewish faith. It's so sad and tragic that children are being fed to the child incineration machine, said the liberal while loading the children onto the conveyor belt. It's heartbreaking. Is there a word for the tactic where a government does something evil and then throws out a bunch of flimsy lies right off the bat to mute the initial backlash? So when the truth comes out, public attention has moved on and it has no impact? Whatever that is, Israel excels at it. It's funny how people get so emotionally invested in U.S. presidential elections when the whole system's stacked to ensure that each party wins half the time. It's like putting 10 blue marbles and 10 red ones in a hat and crying whenever you pull out a red one and celebrating when it's blue.